What's up guys and gals? Liver King. What can you say about the guy? Why is he the liver king anyway? Maybe he's king of the compromised liver because allegedly performance enhancing drugs, steroids, things of that nature wreak havoc on your liver. So I don't know why he'd be the liver king. So why did he come clean in the first place? I don't know. I read a couple times that maybe he had a leaked email. He had to fess up because he felt guilty. Something about his protocol, whatever he was taking, whatnot. So I think the guilt got to him. A video I put out a couple of weeks ago, I briefly talked about this kind of thing. When I talked about being on steroids and if you're natty or not, and who really cares? Because it's a personal decision. I think Liver King, again, had some guilt going on. I think he had some insecurities. I think he even mentioned that he had some insecurities. That's why he took steroids in the first place. So who really knows, man? He seems like a nice guy. Hopefully he didn't hurt himself, damage his liver. I don't like anybody to have any kind of health problems, but Unfortunately, that's a risk you're gonna take when you mess with drugs like this and the timing's kind of ironic because I put that video out and sure enough This guy comes out and says he's been taking steroids, <laughs> but all along He's been natural if you've been around the fitness industry or bodybuilding for any length of time You can usually see some warning signs as to whether someone's on steroids or not You can have that blocky cap shoulder look your traps get too big changes your your facial structure on your forehead a little bit and You get sometimes you get this blocky descended belly even though you have a ripped set of abs it still kind of protrudes out so that's another thing i think he had a couple of these warning signs bdd possibly you guys have heard of that right body dysmorphic disorder when you have some sort of mental condition you're so obsessed with the way your body looks that you can never be happy about it so you do drastic things you're constantly obsessing about it you might take steroids things like that Again, I hope he's okay. He seems like a nice guy, a little bit douchey in some of his videos, but I think that's part of this persona or this character he was trying to mold to help him sell some of his products. So I, it's all good. In that previous video I mentioned, I always talked about how I really don't care if you're on gear or not, but I can understand why some of you might be pissed off at the lies. The only thing that would really piss me off about it and does is that when you lie to younger people, because young people's minds are impressionable, they want to get into fitness for the right reasons, and when you have someone that they possibly look up to, like someone like Liver King, and he's lying to them, kids, that's a bad thing. And that's something that the fitness industry, or sports for that matter, can do without. Okay, we like honesty, especially when it comes to putting in hard work to better your physique or your mental outlook, which fitness can do. So I think, especially with younger people, it's important to be honest and upfront and let them know what it really takes and don't lie to anybody about it. So I'll say it again. In my opinion, it's best to stay away from any sort of performance enhancing drug because you just don't know what the long-term side effects could be. If you're gonna do it, just do it smartly, right? Go through a doctor, someone that can do regular blood work to make sure everything's, you know, thumbs up with you on your health. And again, the most important thing, nothing compares to solid nutrition, solid training, and sleep. Those three things, when they're on point, are gonna get you better results than any drug could ever offer, I guarantee it. And your body, mainly your liver, is going to thank you for it. Anyway, guys, thanks again for checking me out here. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. Brain smart. I'll see you guys next time.